We are learning more today about the two young brothers killed in a police pursuit crash in Mountain View Friday. It's our top story here on The Four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. CBS 8's Kelly Hessedal joins us live near the crash site. And today she talked to a relative of the children. Kelly, I can only imagine how heartbreaking this all is. Yep, heartbreaking on just so many different levels. Now, this crash happened uh, off the 805 near the 43rd Street exit. Uh, the two children who were killed in this crash were just eight and four years old. Uh, I spoke to their godmother on the phone today as uh, she was too upset to go on camera at this point, but she told me uh, the family was headed to the store to pick up snacks when those children were killed. Now, we do have some photos of these two young boys. Uh, they're identified as uh, eight-year-old Malachi Orozco Romero and his brother, four-year-old Mason Orozco Romero. Their godmother calls them little angels. She says Malachi loved football. He was on his school's team. And little Mason loved listening to music and dancing. There is now a memorial for the boys uh, near the crash site. Uh, their godmother says they were going to the grocery store with their aunt and their mother when they were hit about 6.30 Friday evening. Authorities say a 20-year-old man behind the wheel of a BMW sedan uh, being pursued by police slammed into their Honda near the 805 South uh, and the freeway exit for 43rd Street. So both vehicles went off the road down an embankment. Uh, the Honda ran into a tree. It fell on top of the car, and the car burst into flames. Now, the suspect ran away, but police were able to arrest him. The godmother told me the boy's mother, who already suffers from health issues and was just recently released from the hospital, is now in critical condition. She needs surgery on her spine, and there's a chance she could be paralyzed. Uh, she also says the children's father, who lived out of state, passed away last year around this same time. She says uh, these little boys, despite everything they had been through in their short lives, uh, they always carried beautiful smiles on their faces. So back out here live, we do have a link for the GoFundMe site on our website at CBS8.com. At last check, it had raised more than $8,000. Uh, the godmother told me the money is going to go toward funeral expenses as well as medical costs. I'm also told that uh, Malachi School is planning to hold a candlelight vigil for him. However, the details are still being worked out. Heather and Carlo. Oh, Kelly, this is just beyond heartbreaking. You mentioned that the boy's mother is in critical condition, that the aunt was also in the car at the time of the crash. Is there an update on her condition at this hour? Uh, the aunt, uh, we do know she was hurt, but she was released from the hospital. I'm told she is suffering uh, because the mother had, had suffered so many health issues. Uh, the aunt had really stepped in and had taken care of these little boys like they were her own. Uh, so the whole family is just devastated. They're trying to figure out how something like this happened. Uh, the suspect, meanwhile, he is due in court for his first court appearance on Wednesday. So tragic all around. Kelly Hesedal reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, just absolutely.